Hi everyone, it's Jamie from Lovely Mom in 3. Um, I have to start coming on here and showing some more of the work that I do. Um, I belong to a group called Free Spirited Sister Society. It's um, a group where all of us swap cigar boxes every month. We do um, a cigar, cigar box, an altered item, like for a challenge, and then we do a 6x6 six six page. And at the end of it, we'll have a book of everyone that's made us a 6x6 six six page. But um, anyhow... This month, um, the theme was love letters, and these are just a few of the handmade items that I made for, for um, my partner. I just want to show you the card really quick. Um, I did it a Valentine's Day card because she's going to be getting it basically at Valentine's Day. So that's just the outside. I used um, the Kane Company paper line from last year. Put some bling on there, a doily. And then this is the inside. Um, here I took um, a box. I got a grab by bag from Michael's, the $2 grab bags. And inside was a whole bunch of these takeout containers, but they were Christmas. So I have a ton of them and didn't know what to do with them. So I was like, let me just, you know, put paper on it and see how it comes out. But I thought it came out really cute. And I filled it, of course, with goodies inside of it for her. But um, I just used the LaBelle paper line from DCVW. And I altered the whole thing, bottom and all. And this is a Kane Company um, acrylic, not acrylic, um, acetate piece. I put a doily back there, some tool for a bow. Um, I think it came out really cute. And then I took a bow and glued it on the handle. And I didn't like the way that you could see the back of it, so I just took another little bow and glued, glued it on the back. But I thought that was cute, and it will definitely help me use up these takeout containers. Um, this is another one. I got it from off of YouTube. One of the ladies that made it. Um, I believe Creative Young Mama made one and Soft Brown, but I'm not sure if it was Soft Brown or not. But I know Creative Young Mama made one. It was out of um, a little mini composition notebook. But that's mine. They made that little butterfly out of um, pearl trims. I don't know. I just thought these were so cute. And you use it like a little Rolodex. Put in little cards just to show her what to do with it. Sorry about my children in the back. I have two very small kids, and you know how they are at this age. They're two and four. And our altered object this month was a Tussie Mussy. So this is what I made. And I have some gems and lace from the bottom. And filled it with a whole bunch of different laces for her. I hope she likes that. And then here, I got this cute little bathtub. Um, I got one for, for my house, and I altered it and put my little girl's bows in it on the back of the toilet. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. And this is, like, a little something for herself to relax. It's filled with, like, bubble bath and bath fizzes and manicure set. And um, I think my children got into it because there's supposed to be lotion in there. But I just took some lace and flowers and tulle and acrylic wheat sprays. Okay, this is a little mini that I made her from um, the romance novel. Let's see if I could get this untied with one hand. Hold on one second, ladies. Okay, sorry about that. This is that um, Prima romance novel paper. And I just started getting into like mixed media and stuff. I'm just learning. But uh, Miss Liberty 25, she uses like this mesh tape. So I went out and I got myself some, and I put it on there, and some of the textured paste. Okay, and it opens up there, and again there, and again there. So I used a lot of that textured paste throughout here. And then this would be the back cover, but then you flip it back over again, it's like an accordion fold thing. And there. And I put all the tags inside this last pocket for her so she could do whatever she chooses with them. And then back to the front. Um, then this is the 6x6 six six page that I made her out of the Romance Prima novel. And in here is just a little note for her. And then on the back, I just wrote what month it was and signed it and stuff. And then this is her box. I 
don't want to grab it the wrong way. So, I'm really nervous about this box because I don't know. Like, it's the first time that I did like the, the grungy up type style on it. So I'm really hoping that she likes it. I don't want to give it because I like it. Put some lace there. And then all around it, um, I like gessoed, put dry gesso over it and um, ripped pages up. And again, I, I seen that from um, Miss Liberty 25. I love her work, Miranda. Um, for a little handle, I took the Tim Holtz film stuff and made a little handle there. And let me see. Like I just put a piece of paper in the inside. And then that's the sides. That's the back. And that's the other side. Um, I'm really undetermined if I'm going to put feet on it or not yet. But I just wanted to show you this really quick because this is due out and I'm going to get it sent out. Hopefully I can get it sent out today, but um, we're in the middle of a snowstorm, so I don't know. But there's some of her handmade items. And I really hope that she likes them. But leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.